Hi, I'm Landon and this is Lando 27 Tech. So this is a follow-up video to one that I did many months ago. It's going on over six months ago and who knew we'd be in this position today. Everybody's at home, everybody's gotta stay home. I'm not gonna focus on that in this video. This video is a follow-up review on the Google Home Wi-Fi. So you can see my previous video, check it out in the cards. I'll link it in the description as well. So just a recap of that video, I live in a two-story home. I had a Nighthawk router from Netgear I had a Wi-Fi extender, and for a number of years, I had Wi-Fi disconnection problems. I had to get good connection in the basement, I wouldn't get good connection upstairs. The uh, Wi-Fi extender worked sometimes, it had trouble flipping over. So I looked online to try to find something, and I found Google Wi-Fi had a mesh system, and they've since rebranded it, it's called the Google Nest. But this is a follow-up review on the older model that you can still get. Yeah, if you go and watch that other video, I basically show the setup, the full walkthrough. I set one access point up in the basement, one on the middle floor, which is the main level floor, and then one on the top floor. I ran some tests. I'll get straight to the point. My experience with the Google Wi-Fi system has been excellent. It's been great. I've had it now over six months, so it's been really great. And in this video, I wanna go over the tests again. I'm gonna rerun some tests, show the performance, and uh, just talk about it and let you know what I think about it. Obviously, I've already said, I think it's excellent, but why do I think it's excellent? This video is gonna be broken up into a couple parts. Check the timestamps. I find them really useful. If you wanna get to, if you want to get around to a certain part in a video, timestamps are super helpful. Take a look, they'll be in the description. Um, yeah, like I mentioned, so I'll show you where they are. I haven't moved them in the, uh, the amount of time that I've had them. And we're looking at it, it's been like seven months now. And I will run some tests, performance tests. I wanna show you how many devices are in my house. It's actually kind of crazy. So I'm getting good performance on everything. Uh, stay till the end of the video. I'll do like a summary and uh, pros and cons, what I think about it. Let's quick recap. Let's check out where they are and run some tests.
All right, you've made it to the end of the video. Hopefully that was all useful and helpful again. And you can see that it's working well. It runs well and it's been great. So just as like a summary of pros and cons, I'll go through what I think about it. I've made some notes, cheat sheet. So we'll start with pros and I'll explain why I think it's a pro. Over the years that I had that Netgear Nighthawk router, I had to reboot that thing a number of times, like a lot. I don't remember exact numbers. Um, it had good performance on the lower level and it was really good performance with the five gigahertz connections, but overall it wasn't stable. So switching over to the Google Wi-Fi, I've had no problems at all. With one exception, I did reboot it through the software. You can do that through your phone. I've got it loaded on my, uh, my Galaxy S10 here. I rebooted it once, which was probably two weeks ago. And uh, everybody in the house was complaining that their Wi-Fi was not working properly. And I didn't really look into the problem. I just rebooted it. Sometimes that fixes things. I don't know if that was an actual issue or if it was people having problems with their device. Who knows, right? There's so many variables and uh, I just did a quick reboot. So other than that one time, it's been rock solid. I don't have any complaints about it. And one of the nicest things about it, and this is helpful for people that aren't necessarily tech savvy, which is a company in Canada. Um, there's zero maintenance. You can just set it up. You can have it do auto updates and it's, it's self-managed. You don't need to do anything, which I like. So that's my pros. Are there any cons? A couple minor ones. The highest top speed that I got with the Netgear Nighthawk was a lot more than what I get with the Google Wi-Fi, but it's not enough that I care about it. So what I mean by that, I think the top speeds I could get with the, the Netgear Nighthawk, I, I don't remember exact numbers. I think it was at least one and a half times faster. Um, we'll see some tests. If you, if you already saw the test, you saw the kind of performance I was getting. It's enough that I can manage what I'm doing. And uh, for most people, I think I have a really fast internet connection, so that also helps. So one of the pros was that it's self-managed and this could be a con for somebody if you are tech savvy. So it goes against that. If you do like tweaking all the settings, some of the stuff is kind of locked down. You can get into it, uh, most of the stuff, if you, if you know network settings. One thing um, that came to mind recently, I, I wanted to change the NAT setting, the network address translation. That's locked down. It's uh, self-managed by the mesh. So you can't fool around with that kind of stuff. So if that's a concern, maybe look into that first before you buy this. If you do want to really get into the settings, like the Netgear Nighthawk, you could pretty much tweak all the settings you want. So, and that's pretty much it for the cons and for the pros. So that's it for pros and cons. Um, it's been great. I really recommend it. I don't know anything about the new system, the Google Nest Wi-Fi, I believe they call it. They keep rebranding stuff and it's really confusing. I don't know if that's just me. So hopefully this video was helpful. Some people were asking for it. They want to know my experience with it over the past few months. How has it been? It's been excellent, like I said, and I would highly recommend it. I'm actually even thinking of getting a fourth access point. And with everybody being at home, like I mentioned at the beginning, uh, a lot of people probably want to have a stable internet right now and they don't want their Wi-Fi up and down. This is a good solution. There are other solutions. I'm not an expert in all of them. I'm not an expert in any of them. I'm not aware of all of them. So do your research, but know that I bought this out of pocket with my own money. And so Google didn't send me one of these and you can, you can trust my word. It works. I wouldn't make this up just for a video. And that sounds fishy, right? No, trust me. Seriously, trust me. Which leads me to the point, I have an Amazon affiliate link if you want to buy them. I think you can get them many different places, but I do have an Amazon affiliate link. What that means is if you buy it through my link, I get a small percentage of that. It doesn't cost you anything different. It's the same price. And that lets me buy more things for this channel. That's basically how it works. Or let my kids have bread. No, I'm going to cut that out. No, I'm not. Okay, that's going to do it for this video. I hope this was useful. And I hope having a follow-up like this was helpful. And you can trust my word, the thing works, all right? I've said that many times, but it's true. So that's gonna do it for this video. Uh, you can also follow me on Facebook, Lano27Tech. I also have a music channel if you're interested in music, Lano27Music. And you can follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all that social media stuff. So that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Stay safe, stay away from people, because we're in that state right now. Who knows where we're going? And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Take care. It's recording. What do you mean no camera? Who cares? I don't care. Uh, it's been a while. I don't remember how to do this.